Hi, I'm Philia Stain and I'm the Safari Expert and in this video I'm going to show you how to turn your wildlife photographs into black and white high key images using Lightroom's develop module. But before I do so remember to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video. Also make sure to check out my Lightroom tutorials playlist for more similar videos and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So what I've done here for us in the library module is I've selected five photographs that I think will work really well as high key photographs. Uh, and you'll see that if we look at all of them a little bit closer, the one thing that they all have in common is that the animal or the subject is very dark in color and the background is nice and bright. So you'll see with the hippo, the hippo is grossly underexposed and I did so uh, with a really fast shutter speed to freeze the little water droplets but at least we've got that bright sort of shine on the water that gives us the bright background that we need. In the case of the elephant, obviously an elephant has a dark body and on this overcast day, you have this really bright sky in the background giving us the ideal photograph for a high key conversion. Uh, the rhino is a little bit different. It's quite a neutral scene uh, where you have a sort of grayish body and a green background. But because the whole rhino is quite dark and the whole background is quite light, I think it'll still work well for a high key photograph. And then in the two cases, the big cats, you've got a leopard and a tiger, both sitting completely in the shade. And that's very important. The whole animal is dark and in the shade, but you've got nice bright backgrounds behind them. Again, making it ideal for high key photographs or high key edits and conversions. So let's maybe edit one or two of them. Uh, I'll start with the hippo photograph. So let's just go and click on it and then say photo, create a virtual copy. And then I'll click D for the develop module and we'll quickly convert this hippo photograph. And believe me, these high key conversions, if you choose the right photograph, it really is much easier than you think. And I'll take you step by step through the whole process. The first thing I'll do with this photograph though is I'll just crop it because I've got this slightly distracting dark line at the top so I make sure that my little lock is unlocked for the aspect ratio and I just pull it down until I remove that dark bit at the top and just for balance I'm going to bring it in a little bit from the bottom as well just like that and now we're ready to do our high key conversion so in the basic panel the first thing that I do is I convert it to black and white and then I go down to the global exposure slider and I push it up until I can see nice detail in the animal's skin. Remember it was extremely dark so we could hardly see any of those lines and cracks on its skin. But if I do this global exposure increase, we can start seeing the hippo nicely and the background then washes out or goes completely white, which is exactly what we want in a high key conversion. In fact, I'll push up the shadows a little bit as well to show even more detail in the dark areas. And then this next step is really where the magic happens. So keep a close eye on the image when I push up the clarity slider. All of a sudden you see beautiful texture in the animal skin as the darker areas go darker and all those little lines really start to pop. And then to highlight that texture even more, I'll increase the texture slider just a little bit and I'll go down and I'll dehaze the image a little bit and that will really bring out the contrast a little bit extra as well. In fact, you could go up to the contrast slider itself and just push that up a little bit as well, just making darks darker and lights lighter. And there you go. There's your high key photograph. In this case, it's already very sharp, so no real need to sharpen the image. But if you feel like you want to, you could go down to the detail panel there. Just do a slight sharpening increase on the amount. I typically don't go more than halfway at 75. And then always remember to mask it. And that's basically where you tell Lightroom to only sharpen the subject itself. And we do this by holding the Alt key down on a PC or the Option key on your Mac. And then just increasing the masking value. And remember, everything that stays white will be sharpened and everything that goes black won't be sharpened. And there we go. There's our high key hippo shot. And if we look at the before and after, you'll see that there really is 
well, it's hard to believe that that's even the same photograph. But that's how easy it is to convert a photograph into a high-key black and white shot. So let's go and do the same things with the elephant photograph. So again, I'm going to go photo, create virtual copy, click on D for the develop, and we'll do exactly the same things. First of all, I'm going to crop it. So I think maybe just bring it in a little bit from top left for balance. And then we'll do the same steps. First, we'll convert it to black and white. Then we will do a global exposure increase until we can see more detail in the animal's skin. But I can see in this photograph specifically that there really is a very dark patch here, um, sort of lower middle. So let's see whether the shadow increase uh, sorts that out. Oh, it certainly does. This is what you want. You want that real sort of gray look to it. Um, I still think it's a little bit too gray down here. So what I might do is just do a quick radial filter around that area. And remember, if you click O, it shows you which area you're working on. And we certainly don't want to work outside the circle. So I go down here and click invert to work on the middle part. Click O again so I can just see what uh, what's happening when I do the actual adjustment. And I'm just going to increase the shadows for that area specifically. And I'm sure you'll agree with me now that the whole photograph pretty much looks gray. And that's what we need for these high key conversions. The next step, the magic step, is upping the clarity. Ah, so look what happens when I do this with this elephant shot. Amazing texture coming out. Uh, in that elephant skin and even on the rock and the tree in the background and then just like last time with the hippo shot we'll increase the texture a little bit and also very importantly dehaze the shot just a tad. I'll go up and I will just increase the contrast a little bit as well and then you can still see a little bit of detail in the clouds in the background which is not really what I want. I'd like that to go completely white so I am going to just up the highlights a little bit, which should make the sky in the background go nice and white. Just like that. I know some of you might be a little bit concerned about areas washing out. So if you go up to the histogram and you just hover over the little triangle at the top right or even click on it, it should show you any areas blowing out. At this stage, it doesn't look like anything has blown out. But just to show you that if you do take things a little bit too far, you will see the red areas appearing. And that's certainly something that we want to avoid um, as far as possible. But anyways, there's our high key conversion on the elephant. And again, you can go down and just sharpen it a little bit. Remember to mask the photograph as well, like so. And there is our beautiful elephant high key black and white photograph. If we look at the before and after, you'll see that again, it looks like a completely different photograph. So don't be shy to photograph on these really overcast days. And in fact, look for dark subjects against these bright skies so that you also have some great opportunities for high key conversions. If we go and look at the rhino, leopard and tiger shots, I've already converted them. So just to show you what the before and afters look like for those, there's our rhino shot. Look how beautiful that came out, despite the fact that it was quite a neutral scene. And then if we look at the leopard shot, we were absolutely fantastic there. I was able to completely wash out that white background. And you've got these incredible patterns of the leopard spots uh, in, in big contrast with that white background. And then last but not least, here's the tiger shot. I made it a slightly more panoramic crop and brought out all the details in the tiger itself and um, on its stripes and a little bit of the bark of the tree and then punched up the, the background a little bit to to really make that background as light as possible and i think that worked absolutely fantastically so if we look at our five high key shots i think that looks pretty good I really hope you enjoyed that Lightroom tutorial on how to convert your wildlife photographs into black and white high key images. If you did, please give it a thumbs up below and let me know in the comments what else you'd like to learn in Lightroom. Also take a moment to subscribe to my channel and please share this video on Facebook with your friends and your family.